Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? It's your boy, late night yet again, Marcus Levy. Angry Rander here for Sunday vlog number 20 in the Angry Rander vlog series. <laughs> so I wanted to take just a second to go a little bit more in depth into my phase of life philosophy <laughs> because it's part of what I said I wanted to talk about last night. And so I'm gonna take, you know, a few short minutes while I'm on the way to the bus to just sort of explain it. <laughs> so first off, phase one, <laughs> it's what I call dependency. So phase one usually lasts from birth until sometime between 18 and 25. Now, obviously this can differ for other, for some people, people in uh, certain abusive situations as they're growing up can get court orders to be able to live on their own at 15 or 16. <laughs> <laughs> or some people who, you know, are extremely late bloomers can still end up, you know, technically being in phase one after the age of 25. But <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the vast majority, 95% <laughs> of people will enter into phase one at birth. Everybody, actually, 100% of people enter phase one at birth. But about 95% of people <laughs> will complete phase one sometime between the ages of 18 and 25. <laughs> and this is where you are learning your place in the world. You're learning how the world works. You're growing up. You're experiencing everything. <laughs> but it has that milestone at the end of it. And that's how you know you progress to each new phase is the milestones. So <laughs> this milestone is gaining complete independence. And as I said, 95% of people will achieve this because most of us make it <laughs> to the ages of 18 to 25. I realize not everybody does, but also most that do <laughs> end up, you know, moving out on their own and experiencing life at some time between 18 and 25 nowadays. Entering into phase two, which is where I'd consider myself to be, this is what I call independence. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's marked by being able to and having to make every decision for yourself, having to pay for everything yourself, having to learn to navigate the world. And, of course, you will have your stumbles and your trips and your fumbles, but <laughs> it's about not getting discouraged at the fact that <laughs> uh, things in life are going to happen. Now, um, I have come to realize some people <laughs> will stop at phase two. Actually, a large percentage of people. Of the people who make it to phase two, only about, <laughs> I'm going to say, 65% ever make it to phase three. Phase three is what I call the nest egg phase. And it is when you have, to a certain degree, mastered the ability of adulting. You have, <laughs> not necessarily a life savings, but you have a nest egg, you're ready for emergency situations, and this is <laughs> sort of that period of time in your life where I would say you are soaring, you are, you are successful. And I did forget to mention, but phase two, <laughs> for that 65% of people that do succeed in phase two, it only lasts about 10 years, usually. Usually about 10 years. So for me, for example, I started phase two at 23, and if all goes well, I should be in phase three by the time I'm 33. And, you know, essentially through my, uh, almost all of my 20s into my early 30s, from my early 20s into my early 30s, and then that's when I would start phase three. <laughs> now, phase three itself, for those that do make it to phase three, the only people that generally don't make it to phase four <laughs> are usually the people who die before phase four. You know, the, the unhealthier adults. Because if, if we're talking about the normal stages of life, of having this next nest egg and being prepared for, for almost anything, 
I'm willing to say about 90% of people of that 60% of that original 95%, <laughs> you know, another 90% will make it to what I call the slowing down phase. And this is when the word retirement first starts to enter your vocabulary, roughly, I want to say anywhere from five to 10 years before you actually decide that my working life is done. So, <laughs> and now, so for example, you know, stage three is usually the one that lasts the longest. It usually lasts anywhere from 20 to 40 years. <laughs> And because it's the longest one, that 10% of people that don't make it to the end are the ones uh, who die either as a member of the workforce or well before their retirement date. <laughs> They've been successful up to this point, but just not successful at keeping and taking care of themselves or on, you know, not ending up in a freak accident, which it happens, unfortunately. <laughs> now the last phase, is something that all people, even those in phase two, those stuck in phase three, and definitely those in phase four can achieve. <laughs> and it's what I call retirement or golden years. There are people that can go from phase two right into fucking phase five. <laughs> now the retirement phase, from the way that I look at it, this particular phase lasts five years. <laughs> <laughs> before the final phase, phase six, which is twilight, uh, which is, you know, basically until death. But this retirement phase is essentially the time when you've confirmed that you're going to retire and then up into the first couple of years into your retirement where the thought of, do I maybe go back to work? Do I maybe get another job? Do I maybe just get something where I can make a little money on the side or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> to keep myself busy in retirement. It's where it's the, should I work cause I can just to keep myself busy? Not cause I need to. <laughs> now for some people, those probably who were still stuck in phase two up to this point are probably more like, is there any job that I can work so that I'm not homeless or something? But <laughs> for the most part, these are the stages I feel in life that everybody goes through, including that sixth one, <laughs> which is the twilight phase, which essentially happens from the point where you can't work anymore or choose not to work anymore up until you die. And so that can last however long. <laughs> Usually starts as early as, as 70, uh, between 65 and 70, and can last until death, of course. But I don't know, I felt like diving a little more into that, so when people hear me talk about phase one, phase two, phase three, whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And of course, now that I'm in early phase two, the other major thing that you're going to see when going from phase to phase is life is going to change dramatically. A lot of people who enter into phase two, <laughs> especially at the appropriate time, are going through massive changes in their independence. Those that go from phase two to phase three properly are maybe settling down, doing the family, having gotten married recently, all this and that, making much bigger life decisions. <laughs> Those entering phase four, maybe the kids are leaving the nest now and they're starting to have this major sort of crises of, <laughs> and when I say crisis, I don't mean like, ah! I just mean there's a, you know, social work term for crisis, which means just massive, massive change. And then of course, going from phase five to phase six, it's uh, or phase four to five, it's getting used to not working anymore, getting used to, you know, this is it, I can do whatever I want kind of thing. There is nothing more for me in terms of, you know, inputting into the workforce kind of thing. But who knows, all this shit might change in due time. But I always feel a good philosopher, much like Freud, much like Erickson, much like Maslow, they all sort of have their stages and things that people progress through in life. Those are the Levy stages. Enjoy, like and subscribe, more philosophy, more rants, more caffeination in a can to come soon. Peace.